welcome back, welcome back to the NHL 08 Dynasty Mode. The 2012-2013 Carolina Hurricanes look like this. We have Andrew Ladd on the first line with Eric Stahl and Jordan Stahl. Tuomo Rutu on the wing with Dave Boland and Wade Selios on the right wing. David Colleton down the middle with Justin Keller and Sergei Erdyshev on the wings on the third line. Simon Horkoff, Yuka Peltola, and Fideuk. What's his name? Jesse Fideuk on our fourth line, our young guys that we're trying to grow. Maybe one of them gets a big jump this season. We'll have to see. I got I got good hopes about this Horkoff guy. I, I like the way he's looking. 21 years old, 74 overall, 99 potential. Maybe he can blow up for us like Wade Celios is. On defense, Keith Ballard with Matt Lassoff, a good top pairing. Zinejev has grown. Tim Gleason, he's on they're both on the second pairing. Kirk Flaherty, and we're giving this guy, Peter Dakiv, 24 years old, six foot seven, 74 overall, 94 potential defenseman. Hopefully he can grow. He can play well. Uh, we'll have to see Cam Ward, 91 overall in net. That is what we look like. Let's get this season simulation started. And if you would have seen at the end of the last episode, Keith Ballard is now an assistant captain for us. Eric Stahl is our captain. Keith Ballard, an assistant. Jordan Stahl, an assistant captain. So that is what the team looks like. That is the leadership core for this team. Let's go ahead and get the simulation started. So another good October for us. These are good signs. These are good signs. You love to see it. Let's just continue on. So once again, November is a month where we kind of come back down to earth. The simulation is looking pretty similar to last season's simulation. Uh, but once again, we have a good team. I'm happy with where we are. I think that uh, as long as the simulation keeps up like this, we should be in a playoff spot. Are you fucking kidding me? Four losses in a row? Four regulation losses in a row? Are you serious? We are due for a win streak here. We are definitely due for a long win streak right here, right now. Tampa Bay was one of the best teams last season. They were tied for the President's Trophy. And we beat them in one game and then an overtime loss in the second game. So that's a good chunk of points taken from the Lightning. So definitely got some points back at the end of December there. It wasn't necessarily strictly a win streak, but the loss was an overtime loss. So we're definitely on a point streak at least. And fuck those West Coast teams. They don't mean shit as long as we're winning the games versus our division east side. So Cam Ward has made the Eastern All-Star team. We also had our new assistant captain, defensive pairing one, Keith Ballard, making the All-Star team as well. So looking at the player stats up at the All-Star break, Jordan Stahl has 57 points in 47 games. Eric Stahl has 53 points in 47 games. Andrew Ladd is over a point per game right now, 49 points in 47 games. Wade Selios is nearly point per game, 46 points. He's got 24 goals. Tuol Marutu still being a stud, 40 points in 47 games. Dave Boland is having a good season. Keith Ballard having a good season. Matt Lassoff, 10 goals for Matt Lassoff. He's got 10 goals and 20 assists. This guy's a stud on defense with the goals. David Colleton, the third line center with 18 goals. This guy loves to score. I love that. Zinejev playing really well. Justin Keller playing really well. Tim Gleason playing well. Sergey Erdyshev playing well. Looking at these younger guys, Horkoff has 15 points, minus 21. The fourth line's minus 21. The third line's also minus 14. So we're only getting scored on our second two lines. 
but our team record is good right now. The teams have to score goals against us. We're not going to get shutouts every game. Teams got to score. They're not going to score on our top two lines because they're too good. So the simulation has to give it somewhere. Um, so yeah, the third and fourth line guys are getting scored on. But Doc Heave is a he's a plus player. Flaherty and Doc Heave are both plus eleven. That is good for them, especially Doc Heave. He's twenty four. He's seventy four overall, ninety four potential. That's that's good for him. So the league stats, of course, Ilya Kovalchuk up just, uh, just, just he's crazy in this game. Sidney Crosby, 74 points. Marion Hosa, Joe Thornton, he's always up there. Alex Ovechkin, Thomas Vanek, always up there. Radulov, Pavel Datsyuk, new Hockey Hall of Famer. Marion Gaborik, Danny Heatley, Martin Havlot, Evgeny Malkin, Rick Nash, Joffrey Lupul. And Sidney Crosby has 42 goals through 49 games. This is going to be a crazy season for him. Quick look at the player stats in the AHL. Let's see what these young guys are doing. And the, the guy that we traded Justin Williams and Chad LaRose and James Wisniewski for is leading the team 57 points in 50 games. Leo Arkatov, 19-year-old, 99 potential. He's gone up one overall point already, so it's... This trade might be decent for us in the end. Bob Bolarice playing really well. Maybe his 71 defensive awareness isn't hurting him that bad. Tom Gleason, our drafted player. Tom Gleason, 20-year-old, 63 overall. He's 95 potential. Tim Gleason's son, we signed or we drafted this guy. He's organic. He's homegrown. At least we're trying to homegrow him. Uh, but if he gets seasons like this, he's he's going to grow. Jared Bates, a defenseman we signed in free agency, 21 overall, or 71 overall, 21 years old, 93 potential. He's playing really good on defense. 30 points through 50 games as a defenseman is really good. Tim Payer, 23 points in 50 games. He's got 99 potential. So, so these guys are, are playing pretty well down here. At least some of these losses we're getting are overtime losses. You guys know plain and well how I feel about that. Still too many losses for me to be happy with, though. I don't like that. What? Nashville is placing Pekka Rene on waivers? Excuse me, 30 years old set. Why is he bad in this game? It what? Excuse me? Why is Pekka Rene not amazing? So there are some trades going on around the league. The Penguins have traded Filowich, Coral Uke, and Ermin to the Lightning for Trent McLean, Mike Egner, and Merrick Kavapel. The Avalanche have traded a fifth round pick to the Ducks for Nick Lynch. The Phoenix Coyotes traded Thomas Popperlay a second round pick. Ryan Gola No, not Ryan Gola Ryan Rogalski to the Buffalo Sabres for Frederick Cabana, Neil Boyle, and Nicholas Backstrom. Let's just forget February even happened. We don't need to talk about it. Let's just let's just keep simulating. And that's why you don't need to talk about February, because in March you only lose twice and everything's fine now. If we would have panicked back here in February with all these losses and made some crazy trade deadline move, it might would have messed with the simulation, might would have messed with the chemistry, and we wouldn't have had such a good March as we did. Uh, coming up right here at the end of the season in April, we have six, eight games left in the season. Let's take a look at the standings. So the Carolina Hurricanes are second in the NHL. We have already clinched a playoff spot, so we don't even need to stress about the last eight games of the season. We're already in the playoffs. That's what you love to see. So a 51-win season for the 2012-2013 Carolina Hurricanes. 
And one of the points of this GM mode was to see if I could kind of rewrite history and make Carolina relevant throughout the 2010s. And, you know, it was kind of starting off pretty similar to real life, making the Eastern Conference Finals, missing the playoffs, kind of up and down. But now we've made the playoffs a couple years in a row. We've definitely had a lot more success than we had in real life up to this point. Gert Gerdington is starting to turn it around a little bit. And you got to think, after last season losing in the Eastern Conference Finals in Game 7, we've got to be uh, uh, one of the favorites to make a deep run in this playoff series as well. And immediately in Round 1, we have the rematch, the grudge match versus the Buffalo Sabres, the team that won three games in a row to eliminate us from a 3-1 series lead last season in the Eastern Conference Finals. Beat us in Game 7, the Buffalo Sabres. We have a chance to get revenge on them immediately in this year's playoffs. Here are the player stats at the end of the season. Eric Stahl and Jordan Stahl both had over 100 points. Jordan Stahl scored 50 goals, but both of them had over 100 points. Holy, that's what I'm talking about. Jordan Stahl only had two penalty minutes as well. Andrew Ladd is over a point per game. 60 assists for the guy. 86 points for Andrew Ladd. Wade Celio, still another stellar year. 40 goals for him. Just an absolute stud. Tuo Marutu, 74 points. Dave Bolin, just an assist machine. He's not a sniper. 53 points. Keith Ballard had 50 points. Matt Lassoff. 48 points, so Matt Lassoff's goal goal totals kind of simmered off at the, the second half of the season. Keith Ballard's picked up, uh, but but 10-plus goals from my two top-pairing defensemen is really good to see. David Colleton just slowly and steadily having good years, piling up the goals, 29 goals on the third line. we got to get this guy some power play time, maybe. He's only on the third line center, and he's on the penalty kill, and he's getting 29 goals and 42 points. Maybe we need to look at him as more of an offensive player. Peter Dakiv, the third-pairing defenseman, had 30 points, plus 25. He had more points than Zinejev. On the second pairing. And a higher plus minus. Justin Keller, a decent season. Erdeshev, Tim Gleason, Kirk Flaherty. Here's our Simon Horkoff. He had 13 goals, 21 points in his rookie season. Minus 42. The fourth line just getting dunked on. Fideuk, Peltola. It doesn't look like we had... I don't even want to say anything. But you see the games played for all our injury replacements, right? Injury, I haven't changed anything at all. This is just the luck of the simulation. Points for the entire NHL. Ilya Kovalchuk, 127 points. I can't believe he got more points than Sidney Crosby. We had, let's look at the goals real quick. We had three 60-goal scores. Sidney Crosby with 66 goals. Ilya Kovalchuk, 64 goals. Marion Gaborik, 60 Goals, that is insane. Alex Ovechkin, he's yet to hit the 60-goal mark, I don't think. Oh, Jokin and Thomas Vanek. There's Jordan Stahl right there in 8th place with 50 goals. Well, he's tied for 6th, really. Let's go back to the points. There's Eric Stahl. There's our boy, and he's in the top 10. Top 10 in scoring in the NHL. We got somebody simulating in the top 10. Eric Stahl, 107 points, and you don't even have to go that far to find Jordan Stahl at 103 points. He had as many points as Joe Thornton, and we know how good Joe Thornton has been simulating in this game. Holy crap. Jordan Stahl had 11 game-winning goals. Oh, we ran into Wells Greeno McNeil somehow. He had 66 points on Florida. Not bad. What's he been doing? He's been getting 60 point season, so he his career has taken off after leaving the Hurricanes. Good for him. So looking at the player stats in the AHL, again, the guy that we traded Justin Williams for, Leo Arkatov, over a point per game in the AHL, 85 points in 80 games. Bob Bolarice, 84 points in 80 games. Tom Gleason, our draft pick, 95 potential, 77 points, a 30 goal season. 
All right, these guys should be growing with good seasons like this. And here is a look at the playoff tree. The Pittsburgh Penguins are taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. Carolina taking on Buffalo. Ottawa is taking on Montreal, so a Canadian matchup there. Atlanta is taking on the Capitals. Let's go Capitals. In the West, we have the Kings taking on the Stars. The Predators taking on Colorado. The Canucks taking on the Red Wings. The San Jose Sharks and the Chicago Blackhawks are matched up yet again. Those, those two teams go at it every single year in the playoffs, it seems like. All right, so another successful year for Gert Gerdington and the Carolina Hurricanes. We have made the playoffs. We will be looking to get revenge on the team that knocked us out last season, the Buffalo Sabres, in round one of the 2013 playoffs in the next episode. In general, I feel really good about our team. I feel good with where we're at. We should be in a position to make a strong and deep playoff run. It's, it's just, just a matter, matter of, of execution. execution.